humanity, it's June 24th, 2019, and again, it's your lucky day because it's Mondays with Bev and Paul. Good Hi, morning. my name is Paul. And my name is Bev. That's correct, and we're here to have a nice, fun 20 minutes with you as we share BioTouch and how to use it and questions that come to us. Right. And here's a question that we always get. And where is it? Here it is here. What effects can I expect from BioTouch? We, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da, the song. We really don't we know. We don't know. I love <laughs> that answer. It's a very powerful statement. It making. is. You know, and I think that's sort of one of the things that makes BioTouch so readily accessible. Helps people feel comfortable that they're not being sold a bill of goods. Right. There's no special guru here that you have to follow unless, you know, Bev's playing the goddess. Oh, well, I, was just, I thought you were going to talk about you. <laughs> I know, it's always about me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's nice to answer questions with I don't know. I mean, I always feel really good about doing that. You know, it's uh, so interesting because a couple um, of our trainings ago, practitioner training, somebody said, you know, in the beginning – Every time we asked the question, you guys were so honest. She said, oh, well, we don't know. But she says, by the end of that weekend, I got it. I know now. It's so free. Powerful. Yeah. And so, you know, what we wanted to share is, you know, what, what can you expect and what can you not expect? And it, we, I sort of wrote down this little thing here. You can expect nothing and you can expect everything. <laughs> The yeah. nothing and the everything. You know, I really like BioTouch out of all the different studies I've done over all the decades, you know, finding God, love, and guru. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. BioTouch sort of wrapped it up to me without having to get into a lot of the philosophical jargon. It oh. just, it's a wonderful practice mm -hmm. um, to live in the present moment we were talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Living in the in that present moment, which we've all heard. We're, we're all speaking that, too. We're saying, oh, let's just be here now. You know, and what BioTouch lets us do, though, uh, because we've talked about this before, you know, the illusion that we're separated from each other is an illusion. And so BioTouch is reminding us that we're not. So when we are when practicing BioTouch, we're here now with another human being. Right. We're not here now by ourselves. And right there on the physical plane, yeah. touching them on the skin, another human being, and we're sentient beings. And it allows us to come to that sentient part of ourselves and then be able to let the story unfold. So we wanted to share with you a little bit about uh, from the book, because uh, we like we want to keep sharing the book. Where is it? Here, here it is here. The book and, and part of what I was talking about, the teachings, uh, Deborah wrote in, in the book, Healing uh, with the Power in Our Fingertips. There's a little paragraph in here, and, and she talks about just as grandfather guided Paul to read, analyze, and absorb what was needed for his spiritual development, Janet helped me to understand how much more of our world there was beyond the obvious. In the years 1981 through 1985, Paul and I had mentors who inspired us to study and learn the secrets of the universe from the very same enlightened thinkers. Now that was, you know, that, that's an interesting, and that's right in the middle of the book too. Yeah. So on both sides, there's all this, I know, all it's, these different people that I got involved with, that she got she, involved with, and why we do BioTouch. Yeah. You know? Oh my goodness. Well, as you say, you know, BioTouch really does hold a lot of those ancient teachings. Yes. You know, um, if you think about it, just when we begin to talk about the self-awareness, that's what the journey for all of us. You know, and those ancient teachings are not, you know, it doesn't matter whether you follow the, the Bible or the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita or the, this, you know, or you're an atheist or an agnostic, you know, that still the fact that we're all here. And I've read numerous times this week. Uh, about happiness and love just are. You don't have to go get them. The fact that you were born into a body on this physical plane, you have that birthright, which we talk about all the time, all the time. to be healthy, happy, and loved. 
Yeah, I love that. You don't have to go looking for what's always been there. Yeah, wasn't there a song? Looking for love in all the wrong places. Wrong or right? In the wrong, <laughs> wrong places. places. <laughs> right. If we were looking for it in the right places, we wouldn't be having half the problems, right? <laughs> so, you know, isn't that just perfect? And so what can we expect? What are the effects that we can expect? Well, that's as grand as human beings on the planet oh my because gosh. everybody's different with it. I might do the metabolism set on A, B, and C, but the effect is going to be different because we're addressing that body. And what do you talk about in that? When you address the body, then what happens after that? Oh, well, you know, I was telling somebody the other day exactly that. We, we don't guarantee anything because the body knows what to do with the touch. It's not, you know, it takes us right out of that ego, that expectation, what am I doing? When we give the body biotouch, it's, it's, that's why we can say there are, we don't know about any effects. We can't guarantee anything because that body itself is empowered to take the touch and to work with it. Right. And so, you know, someone might come in, uh, oh, we do want to say here, hi to Charlotte. She says hi. Hi, hi to Charlotte. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> uh, Julie's Julie, Julie, hi. Hey, if you have questions too, or, you know, what effects have you seen with BioTouch, you know, write them down there. But the, the key about the effect is somebody comes in with a heart problem. And so we start to do those sets of points. But that might not be the problem. I know. I remember in the very beginning days, a woman came... Excuse me. Woman came in, call her Nellie. She had feet problems. She actually said, I have peripheral neuropathy. Can you help me? <laughs> I was like, no, I can't. Because I don't <laughs> know what, what that is. is. <laughs> Back in those days, I was like my friend who thought the spleen was in the head, you know? So I love that story. That's so cute. <laughs> and there it is too about effect, you know? Yeah. So, I, you know, I said, well, no, but if you tell me where it hurts, I think I can help. She said, oh, my feet hurt, you know, and they always feel like they're burning and I feel like I'm walking on cardboard. And I said, well, OK, we can we can help that. And I worked on her feet. It got down on my knees. That's another. There's a great teaching wow. getting on my knees to the lady week after week. But of course, I did some other things, metabolism and stress and headset. And her feet never got better. It's not interesting. Her blood count got better. Her heart got better. Her attitude got better. People <laughs> around town used to hate to come in, in contact with her, but now she was joyous. She was this little old lady, had this huge pickup truck that you needed a step stool to get in. <laughs> like get know? out of her way, and right? And now she was able to get in and out of it without a problem, wow. but her feet still bothered her. How interesting. So, you know, what can we expect the effects to be? We couldn't. I kept working on her feet, but there were all these other things that she and her body and whatever does healing work decided it needed to work on. Right, you know, and and here's the thing about all those possibilities. It, you know, if you come up against, you know, an issue that you're working with, we don't know what, what the body's going to do with BioTouch, but for me, it's always like it holds this, what, this pregnant possibility, <laughs> right? What is the body going to give birth to here with this amazing technique? It may not, as you said, in that story, whatever's going on with me may not, you know, get better or whatever, but the possibilities that are there gives me hope. <laughs> you know that? So the, the hope, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but I'm laughing because I remember working on this woman. She was, you know, she'd had her tubes tied and stuff. And I always remember joking with her about, you know, we better be careful because BioTouch may be able to do those. No. So you're talking about pregnant possibility. <laughs> right. oh. She was like... All right, no, no more touching the right, water. Right, right. Do not <laughs> yeah. do that because you you never know. You never know. But uh, but that was something. <laughs> but good. you talked about hope. That, so that that's an interesting uh, thing that we want to talk about. So in to move into that, we want to read from our epilogue. You know, it's probably the greatest philosophical uh, words that we have in our I book. Tell so you. we're going to read from the um, the manual this time. And we're going to read a paragraph from the epilogue. Here it is. Here it is. As an associate learns the value of human beings caring for one another and seriously engages in the process of healing, he or she may, on achieving marvelous and beneficial results, be inspired to speculate on various aspects of the human condition. 
the associate may begin to conceive that the usual arbitrary distinction drawn between the body and the mind extends to a harmony with the spiritual aspect of the human trinity. Oh my gosh. Well, there we are. And what we're it's talking about <laughs> is a wholeness. Yes. We were saying we're physical, we have emotions, and we think we have minds. Wholeness, which is what BioTouch promises in that self-awareness, brings us into this complete package. To me, you know what? That's health. Because I asked you earlier, what does healing mean? Right. <laughs> what does healing mean? Exactly. That's yeah. And our answer, we, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> it's like, you know, we use these words, energy, healing, you know, and, and they're just, they're different for each person because each person has a different journey. We do want to take a moment to say hi to Patty. Welcome to our hey, Patty. show here. She pass this on to people too. Yeah. And we don't know what healing is. We don't know the effects that are going to happen for each person. And you know something? That's a joy for me. Oh my gosh. That's why we, when somebody says, well, what should I expect? Uh, everything, That's nothing right. and everything yeah. and all that in between. Because yep. all we're doing is getting out of the way and letting the story unfold. Imagine if we lived our life like that, oh. getting out of the way and letting the story unfold. You know, I've been reading part of this too. It doesn't mean that we, this uh, re, uh, guy I was reading today, he said uh, this enlightened man, he was a, a friend of his and he was depressed. He was a, a preacher with him and he was depressed. And then he went and got enlightened, so to speak, became mm -hmm. self-aware and he was still depressed. Mm -hmm. So all he was, was aware of the depression now. It didn't, doesn't mean things go, it doesn't go away. It just means we're aware of the body as it heals, as it changes, as it transforms, as pains come, as they go. You know, being stuck in this body, I'm not really sure we ever get rid of the pains of it, right. the suffering of it. Well, don't you think um, the first step to any of that change is to become, as you were saying, aware right. of what's going on? You and, can't address what you don't And that we do know BioTouch helps us do. Just at the beginning when we do that greeting, it yeah. helps us be aware of the body in its relationship to its surroundings. And that, to me, there's healing. And, it begins. And, yes. And you know, that we can expect. That is an effect that we see over and over and over. People, for a moment, wake up. They wake up to their body. They wake up to, you know, maybe what they're eating. They need to change that, you know. But you talked about the hope. And I always love sharing the story of this young man. He had a brain tumor. And his wife brought him in. He was 24, 25 years old. And when he first came in, he couldn't speak. He couldn't write. Uh, he could walk, but you know, the whole ability to translate thoughts into speech and writing just mm -hmm. wasn't there. And so we worked on him and we worked on him two or three times a week and we taught her how to work on him. And for the first time in years, they were able to go on a vacation together. Wow. They went on the vacation, they came back. And of course, being on vacation, they didn't really work on each other. And, and he had gotten better too. He had actually started to be able to write mm. and, and, and speak a little bit. And so, but when they came back, it seemed like this disease flooded back into him. And it wasn't but a short amount of time he was in hospice. And we still worked on him every day in hospice. We had two shifts. I mean, one would go in in the morning, one would go in the afternoon. The, and uh, when you did bio touch on him, he would sigh. He was in a coma, but he would oh. sigh. And all these other energy modalities. He, he, nothing. There was no response, but, but people were doing oh half a dozen different techniques oh, yeah. with him, and 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 he finally did pass on. And so we went to the memorial, and after the memorial, his wife came up to us and went, you know, out of all the techniques we did, BioTouch was the one that gave us hope. What an amazing thing to say. You know, and wow. that you know, even though we <laughs> wanted him to live and we wanted him to get better. But the hope to him, even though they knew he wasn't going to live, there was an internal hope. There was something else that triggered deep within him oh. that, and her that was all going to be okay. It just, BioTouch changes the quality of the experience. Yes. That's what happens. It, <clears throat> excuse me, and in that hope, it goes beyond what we're just experiencing in this 
prison, this body that's experiencing the pain and the suffering. There's more to us than this body. So what effects can I expect from BioTouch? Everything. Everything. And yet, <laughs> don't expect anything. Just do the touch. You know, and if all that happens is this, that BioTouch, when you bring it into the stress cycle, actually increases the activity of the genes that fight infection and cancer and promote healthy aging and improves the quality of life. If that's all we expect, oh my gosh, we're that much further. Well, you know, that chart reminds me that they're, you know, they know, and even in the medical um, traditional, that stress is about 80 to 90 yes. percent of the what co contributes to our pain and suffering. Wow. So it's a matter of just doing it. That's why we have these shows. You can go online, justtouch.com, download the greeting, the first 10 pages of the manual, share it with your friends and family. And of course, every week here, we want to teach you another set of points. Today, we're going to teach you the metabolism set. The metabolism set can be used to help the body assimilate what it needs and eliminate what it doesn't need. The metabolism set has two steps. Step one involves touching points in matching fire along the large muscles on the front of the neck. Points one and one are located above the collarbone in the soft indentations on both sides of the notch at the top of the breastbone. Points two and two are halfway up the neck on the front of the large muscles. Points three and three are at the top of the neck on the front of the large muscles. The second step involves holding a point on the front of the body and touching points next to the spine on the back. Hold point X on the front of the body is on a line directly between where the nipples would be on a youth and is one to two inches to the left of the breastbone. Another way to find X is one third of the way up the breastbone from greeting point one and one to two inches to the left of the breastbone. The points on the back are located next to the spine, forming a rectangle around the breakover point. The breakover point is where the bottom of the rib cage joins the spine and can be found by imagining a line directly through the body from greeting point one. To perform step two, find hold point X on the front of the body and touch points one through four on the back. Point one is approximately one to two inches up from the breakover point on the left spine muscle. Point two is directly across from point one on the right spine muscle. Point three is two to three inches below the breakover point on the right spine muscle. Point four is used to address blood sugar problems and is added to the other metabolism points when needed. It is located across from point three on the left spine muscle. Helps the body get rid of what it doesn't need, assimilate what it needs without us projecting it. We do not project what we think should happen to the body. We don't analyze, we don't diagnose, we don't project where your energy needs to move or not move. We don't. You know, it's just not up to us. We just touch. Yeah, we don't talk any of that language. Uh, I had a couple of massage therapists tell me in, when they were taking a workshop, wow, BioTouch helps us get rid of all of our expectations and our ego and become detached from anything, you know, that we may think is going to happen or not to happen. And again, it's in that detachment that we come to an awareness of what's left, which is happiness which love. is love, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So join us this Thursday. Talk about a health condition, death and dying. We have uh, John Abraham, who's an Episcopal priest, phantatologist, which is the uh, science of, of death. And he's an author, and he's also the founder of numerous hospice programs when they first began in the 70s. So it's going to be a great mm -hmm. presentation here at the Tucson Center, 6 to 8 p.m., also being live-streamed on Facebook, and then it will be posted after that. So, if you know, please join us and learn BioTouch.
and have no expectations in your life today. How about but that? But change your life. But change it. Don't have any expectations, but your life will change. We know. We do know that, right? We do know that. Yeah. Reach out. Touch someone today. Thank you for letting us touch you by allowing us on your phone, in your house. And uh, thank you, Beth. Thank you, Paul. So until next week, we will see you. We're going to end with uh, a little ditty from Horace Barnes. And we'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful week. If pain has got you down and you live in town, take a trip down to Pima Street. The people down there are people who care. They will get you back on your feet. Put love into action. Put love into action. If you ever want to have...